Hi, my name is Jonathan Andreessen, Director of Product Marketing at Blue Coat Systems Asia Pacific. Today's session will focus on how your enterprise can optimize performance and cost with application acceleration. So let's first start with a few architectural basics. First, we have users in the data center connected on the LAN, connecting through a variety of communication links to the wide area network and the internet through MPLS, lease line, frame relay, or even satellite. Organizations are leveraging the internet in new and innovative ways. For example, the internet and the WAN are converging. We're also seeing the deployment of software as a service for CRM, content management, and operations type applications. We're also seeing the deployment of hosted applications, which may be customized, designed in-house to reduce cost. We're also seeing the deployment of web applications to connect the broader enterprise ecosystem of partners, suppliers, and customers. And a final trend we're seeing is the deployment of cloud-based services often used to protect the enterprise against real-time malware threats. Organizations are changing how they support the branch office, many of which connect to the internet through the data center. Other remote sites have direct access to the internet as well as to the data center. And finally, we have remote workers working from home or outside the corporate headquarters connected directly to the internet. Acceleration, or WAN optimization as it's also known, is about delivering the right content and applications to the user fast. WAN optimization has moved beyond simply accelerating files and email. It also has to accelerate webified applications, SSL applications, ERP, or even protect real-time applications that are being increasingly deployed to save costs across the enterprise. There's some pretty compelling evidence behind this trend. First of all, over 80% of CIOs believe that better management of their WAN is top priority. This year, we expect that 40% of enterprises will make major changes to their WAN. In addition, WAN optimization is deployed in about 47% of large enterprises today. So how do you know if you're a good candidate for WAN optimization? Well, certainly if you have a lot of distributed locations where the branch and the remote offices are physically far apart and that have bandwidth and latency constraints. Other good candidates for WAN optimization are companies that have a broad array of internal and external web applications, encrypted applications, or even streaming video. Each day, millions of transactions pass through the enterprise network. Within this traffic, mission-critical applications often require different approaches to acceleration. Yet within this traffic mix, there's a large degree of unwanted traffic. This can be recreational traffic, spyware, or even malware that not only consumes a large degree of bandwidth, but also puts your enterprise at risk. So simply accelerating everything on the network leads to two problems for the enterprise. First, it accelerates unwanted traffic like malware and spyware. and can also lead to WAN congestion. And secondly, it doesn't allow the enterprise to take advantage of reduced costs by blocking and controlling unwanted traffic. So let's turn to the applications we actually might want to accelerate on our network. First, we have bulk data services, which include SIFs, files, and emails. This typically responds very well to WAN optimization and was the first generation of applications we accelerated. But in today's environment, enterprises are looking to accelerate webified applications as well as just bulk data services. These include a different set of technology approaches than bulk data because we have to understand HTTP and the security side of SSL. Enterprises are also taking advantage of rich media for training and live webcasts but these types of applications can cause a lot of WAN congestion due to the high amount of bandwidth they use. We need to focus on how we can accelerate these types of applications as well. And next we have externally hosted applications such as Software as a Service, Oracle On Demand, or Salesforce.com, which we also need to accelerate. Recreational applications are another form of externally hosted applications that can consume up to 60% of the enterprise bandwidth, peer-to-peer, -peer, YouTube, streaming radio, and iTunes are all good examples. And finally, we have real-time applications, which are often overlooked in this equation. They include voice over IP, video conferencing, thin clients, or credit card swipes. And all these applications require a different set of approaches to ensure that they are high performance. Most one optimization products on the market today focus on bulk data services acceleration. Some do a little bit of web and SSL acceleration, and even a little bit of rich media but not many focus on externally hosted applications or real-time applications. So as an enterprise, we need to take a full view of all the applications running on our network today, ensuring that we accelerate 
bulk data services, web and SSL type applications, rich media and streaming, externally hosted web applications and controlling recreational traffic, and finally, we have a plan to accelerate and protect real-time applications. I hope you've enjoyed today's session on acceleration and that you come talk to Bluecoat as we can help you improve your application performance. I'm Jonathan Andreessen, Director of Product Marketing Asia Pacific at Bluecoat Systems.